Right now we're feeling pretty good. Uh, we're getting along well and like on and off the court, so I think that's important. Um, yeah, we're just getting better every day and riding the wave, I guess. I know last year you guys were kind of on the on the deal of trying to obviously prove yourselves. I guess now that you have this two and zero star, what's the validation like for y'all, and what do you have to do to kind of keep yourself focused to know that you're not kind of getting a big head during this kind of win streak, so to speak? Yeah, I mean we've worked pretty hard to get this little win streak going and uh, just hoping to maintain and just keep the mindset that we're still working for something bigger in the end. And I think that's what keeps us going every day, that we're not satisfied with the 2-0 start. Like, we want more. We want the 3-0, the 4-0 and all that. So I guess that keeps us your, in track. From your perspective, just the attack, I guess what's it like just to kind of have multiple weapons to kind of pass the ball to because it seems like you're almost getting career highs or kind of set, setting new records each time you go out there. Yeah, I mean, it's great. All our hitters are doing a great job. They're putting the ball away, so it makes my job a lot easier. I just put it up there for them. Katie, uh, confidence-wise, where are you guys at? Uh, Ty mentioned it a minute ago, the start, something that hasn't happened here in almost two decades. What's the feel going into to this weekend or tomorrow's match against Iowa State? Yeah, we're excited. Um, only thing on our mind is getting a win, and we still know that we have a lot to prove. Uh, preseason, we weren't ranked too high, and so – all these teams that we've got coming up were ranked above us, and so we're looking to get some wins and really put a mark on this program. And you mentioned the ranking there. I, I asked Missy this as well. Is it some kind of vindication for you guys to see that people that vote on the coaches' poll are noticing what you guys have been doing here in Lowick? Yeah, it's exciting. Um, I think Missy touched on it, but we know what we're doing day in, day out, and we know what how hard we've worked and how much time we've put in. So it's it's nice to finally have everyone else see that. Maybe a sore subject, but going back to last season, whenever you were up 2-1 to one against Iowa State um, and ended up losing the match, I guess how have you all used that as motivation going into this year? Yeah, we've always played Iowa State really well at home, and I think the difference this year is um, we're mature and older and we have more experience, and you see us in tight matches. Instead of losing by two, now we're winning. and. I think you'll see that on Friday. So what are you kind of expecting from Iowa State? I know that's obviously your focus going into this one. Yeah, good team. A uh, lot of returning players, uh, really good outside hitters. Uh, they're long, they're physical, really well coached. Their ball control is as good as it gets in our conference. Uh, they're a solid group. I guess in terms of just uh, the last couple uh, matches you've had, you always talk about how long a team is. How do you kind of counteract that or how do you kind of help yourselves kind of without obviously giving away too much. Yeah, obviously. well, you know, when you have smaller hitters, they have to learn how to score against bigger blocks, and, and that's just the way it is. So we, we work a lot with Emily and Chandler specifically about sometimes it's tempo, sometimes it's working in a specific part of the block, sometimes it's showing something and going a different direction. You know, there's a, there's a lot of different ways a smaller player can score, and, and it's not like Emily and Chandler are tiny. They're just, they're just undersized compared to some of the other players we see. So I guess just kind of with that in mind, I guess how impressive have you been just with the block? I know obviously, like you said, not not uh, some some players at least that that you'd like to have, but certainly they're at least making things a little bit tougher in terms of the lanes and all that. Yeah, that's probably been the um, the most encouraging part of our whole season. You know, we've been pounding on that block for three years, and and now you can tell they're paying attention to what the message has been, and it's all starting to to fit together, and the results are there. So that that part has really uh, been a game changer for us. In terms of that, do you kind of feel like that's something that maybe lost because everyone always kind of is focused on, oh, the, the big kill or just kind of like that? And I guess how important is that for you all just to kind of get that momentum from that to where you're not allowing a team to maybe get on a big run? Yeah, it's a real neutralizer for sure. And if you look at any elite team in the country, they all have a great block. That's that's a big, big part of it. And, and for us, especially with how young we are in the back row, to have the block be able to, to help you know, slow things down and take some things away so that they can focus on smaller areas of the court and, and it really helps their, their game progress. So, you know, we want the, the block to help the back row get better and vice versa. And sometimes you got to pick each other up. And just in, in terms of the back row, same thing with the defense, I guess, just how pleased you've been with Emerson and Katie and kind of all them just kind of spreading out the digs, not necessarily having it on one person. Yeah, um, you know, our, our defense has been really solid. You, you know, you saw it against Baylor, we were really really scrappy just found ways to keep the ball off the floor and you know we've been hounding them to to dig the ball with more control and i think against west virginia saw that so we were digging balls to target and we were getting three options off those passes and uh, that led to some better transition offense coach you, you all talked about brooke at the beginning of the season and the impact you expected from her 
Uh, not that she hasn't been as effective as she has not been in Big 12 play, but what, what has a light bulb come on for her? I mean, what, what has changed for her? That's a good question. You know, Brooke's a great kid, and uh, but she didn't give much away. You know, she, she kind of keeps to herself, and she had a great personality, but, you know, she's never too high or low. She just is generally the same. And so it was really cool to see her in a really big match on the road against Baylor. Just kind of take it. You know, she never, you know, she didn't act surprised. It wasn't a big thing. It was just, okay, here I go. And, and we just wrote it out. And, and then to see her follow through against West Virginia, you know, but if you spend any time with her at all, this fits her personality completely. And so, um, you know, we're just going to enjoy it. Um, I asked both the, the girls this, um, not that it's an ultimate goal, but to see what you guys have been working towards and see what seven or eight votes received this past week. What, what does that mean to what you're, you're doing with this program? Uh, I think it just, more than anything, it just reinforces the message we've been giving them for so long, you know, that you know, if you do it the right way and you keep at it and you keep trusting yourself, then you're gonna get there. And, uh, and now we're starting to see that. So, you know, the validation from the outside is great. Obviously that's not why we're doing it, but it's nice to get and, and it does, you know, give the team a little bit more confidence and, and lets them feel good about what they've done. And so that's a positive, but it's certainly not uh, the focal point of what we're doing right now. Coach, with an off day yesterday on Wednesday and only one Big 12 game this week, I guess, how is that useful for your team as far as rest goes? Yeah, you know, the Big 12, is a, it's got a crazy schedule, you know, because we've got just nine teams. And so there's always that team or two that's got a full week to prepare. And so you got to take advantage of that. And, you know, the travel is tough in this conference and, you know, you just kind of beat each other up. So anytime you get a, a full week to train and rest up, you got to use it. And, uh, and I feel like this week has been really good for us. So we've watched a lot of volleyball as a staff and kept up with what the rest of the conference has done. And, you know, we've been uh, keeping an eye on everything. But, um, you know, this, this is when it really gets interesting. And with the buzz growing around the program and kind of the crowds, you know, continue to get bigger, how, how important is that for the team? Yeah, it goes back to what we were just talking about. You know, it's so good to be able to, um, you know, to, to walk into a meeting or, you know, see the other athletes on, on campus and the other coaches and everybody's interested in talking about us and you see what we're doing on, on social media and you can just see the, the interest picking up and, you know, the crowd is getting bigger and you, you can tell everybody's paying attention. So again, it's, you know, it's, it just starts to snowball and, um, you know, I think we just are right there ready, ready for it. So this is, this is about to get really fun for us. Thank <laughs> you.